What's up everybody, Andrew Mahoney here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today we're going to be showing off Matt Sadel's Top 8 ADP Altaria deck from the Full Grip Games online series. But before we do, let's check out the new pre-orders for Vivid Voltage Singles on FullGripGames.com. I am really excited to announce that we have got singles available for pre-order from the newest Pokemon trading card game set, Vivid Voltage, on FullGripGames.com. And of course, supporting the shop at Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Jim. If you're looking to get the best cards on your Pokemon Trading Card Game online account, look no further than FullGripCodes.com. We have got a great selection of Pokemon Trading Card Game online codes available for instant email delivery. And if you're looking to pre-order codes from Vivid Voltage, we have got those codes available for pre-order as well. And you'll get them emailed to you before the set drops on the Pokemon Trading Card Game online so that you'll be ready to play on set release day on PTCGO. Now, let's take a look at Matt Sadel's ADP Altaria deck. As you can see, we've named this deck 2AM Spicy Deck because Matt told us that he created the deck at 2AM the night before the Fulgrip Games online series. Clearly, that strategy paid off for him as he was able to finish in the top eight of the event. This deck revolves around using Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX's powerful Altered Creation GX, which boosts your Pokemon's attacks by 30 damage for the rest of the game. And if you have an extra water energy attached to it, you're going to be taking bonus prizes every time you take a knockout for the rest of the game. One of the best cards in the Pokemon trading card game right now. And then after you Alter Creation GX on turn two ideally you'll go for a turn three ultimate ray which deals 150 damage 180 if you've used altered creation and you get to search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your pokemon in any way you like sometimes you're going to power up your other adp with your first adp using ultimate ray so that you can ultimate ray some more but often you're going to be aiming to power up your altarias who have the amazing miraculous charm ability which prevents all damage done to this pokemon by attacks from your opponent's pokemon v and pokemon g X. And this ability single-handedly walls off many decks in standard format. It's got a speed dive attack for two colorless energy, deal 60 damage, boosted to 90 after an altered creation GX, which is very good to chip away at opponents while usually they sit there passing because they can't actually damage your Altaria. Now this deck uses the Green's Exploration Engine to set up, and you might be saying, hey, wait, Andrew, that doesn't really make any sense. Green's Exploration cannot be played if you have a Pokemon with an ability in play. Now, the idea of using the Green's Exploration engine to set up is that you actually only have a Pokemon with an ability in play after you evolve your Altaria. So you're going to hold your Altarias in your hand while you use Green's Exploration to set up an early Alter Creation and Ultimate Ray using cards like Energy Spinner to go grab you the necessary energy you need out of your deck, grabbing useful Crushing Hammer along the way to help slow your opponent down if they're playing an Eternatus VMAX deck or another ADP deck and trying to pull off the Alter Creation. You can grab Crushing Hammers to help slow your opponent down, which is very useful. And you can grab Power Plants out of the deck. You can grab whatever you want with Green's Exploration. And that is the beautiful thing about this card is that it is so useful. It is so uh, able to be fit into any situation that you may need early on in the game. So I really like the Green's Exploration in here. Once you evolve into Altaria, though, of course, you're not going to be able to rely on that Green's Exploration anymore. But we do have a lot of other powerful supporters in the deck. Two copies of Marnie, three copies of Cynthia and Caitlin can keep you drawing cards and getting other supporters out of your discard pile and three copies of boss's orders as that is going to be one of your easiest ways to win games is by bossing up threats on your opponent's bench and taking bonus prizes on them with a boosted ultimate ray or speed dive we also have four copies of poke gear in the deck to help us find useful supporters usually greens exploration on the first turn of the game and three copies of tag call which help us get our adps out into play and also give us the very useful cynthia and caitlin to help us draw cards with one copy of Fion, you can use whirlpool suction to push threats that are in the active position to the bench so that you can steal games by just bringing up threats on the opponent's bench that can't withstand a speed dive or an ultimate ray all in all i think this deck is a lot of fun to play and a very creative way to play altaria you'll have to see it in action to understand how this deck wins some very very grindy games so i'm excited to show off this deck in some gameplay action let me know what do you think of this adp altaria deck in the comments below 
We're playing against Poison Eternatus, it looks like. We've got an ADP in the active position. I don't know if they play Hammers or anything like that, so let's go ahead and check the deck. Energy Spinner. Uh, we do know we're going to want some Metals, and we're going to want some Water Energies. Probably two Water is fine. A couple of Metals is fine. Uh, we're probably going to want to use Ultimate Ray. We're going to want to Quick Ball as well. So we can go Greens, and we can get ourselves... Honestly, the poison is going to be, I think, very annoying here. Uh, I could definitely see the poison being, as long as this card is attached to I print the effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, so that's not anything that's going to help us with poison. Power Plant will not help us against this either. Okay, we can go Evolution Incense. Crushing Hammers could be good eventually. Let's just get these guys. And I think I'm going to greens for a Quick Ball and another greens. Seems good. So we're just going to go there. No, and we're going to get ourselves another Greens Exploration. Seems good. Go Metal Energy first, in case you play Hammers. And then we just go Quick Ball away. Putting the second ADP down is like probably a little risky, but with the Poison variant, they should have just ways to KO our, our guys, right? So I think that I can get rid of... The Cynthia and Caitlyn seems okay. We get ourselves the Swamplu, and they don't have any energy down yet. So, like the big thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to uh, we're gonna want to go Ultimate Ray, and hopefully Ultimate Ray and knock out a Crobat. Now, I am tempted to go Greens for Hammers because you know we could alter Creation and. Uh, we could alter creation and knock off that energy from the Eternatus, and we would not be running any risk of getting our ADP KO'd this next turn, which would be very good. We do see Crobat coming into play, so that is an out for us to be able to win. And I think that since you know we are up against the Poison variant, Altaria is not going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting for us. It's kind of just going to be here as a threat. I think we can just win this game with ADPs if we're able to slow our opponent down at all. We do have the Evolution Incense, but I have to be careful because if I'm going to... We know we're going to Alter Creation. Um, I could go Greens for Double Hammer. Try and remove the energy from the Eternatus. And then next turn, Ultimate Ray. So let's go here. I think we're just going to grab Double Hammers out of the deck. Seems very good. That... Or I could go, go One Hammer Boss, right? But if this ADP gets knocked out, I surely lose the game. Surely. So I think Double Hammer seems correct. And then we can actually bench this just in case my opponent... Well, no. Ah, there we go. All right. Good. We go Alter Creation. Just in case my opponent Marnies, I want to have this second ADP down. I don't want to evolve into the Altaria yet because then I turn off my own Greens Exploration, which is going to be tough for... You know, having the option to Green's Exploration, especially after Marnie. It looks like I'm probably going to Marnie this next turn. So I'm going to save the Swablu as a Swablu. And then we're just hoping that I can eventually knock out some of these two prizes and take three prizes on them. We may end up actually using... We're going to get Marnie to ourselves, which actually increases my odds of being able to find uh, Boss's Orders to be able to potentially take out one of these Crobats. That would be huge. So we are going to Tag Call first, thin the deck. Tag Call. Two Cynthia and Caitlyn's. It's good. And then we've got Pokegear. If we find a boss's orders, we're going to take three prizes. Do not find one. So I can just go Cynthia and Caitlyn. Get rid of... Probably the Pokemon communication. There's just like not a lot of Pokemon in this deck. Put a supporter from the discard pile in the hand. Yeah, we're going to do that. And I feel like I want to grab greens. I mean, that is the only one we have. So we're definitely grabbing greens. And if we hit this hammer, we're very good at this game. All right. Looks like I'm just mediocre at this game. That's fine. We do have to go with the ultimate ray to accelerate more energy onto our backup ADP. Might as well go two waters and a metal. 
seems fine. I guess I could have pushed up the Eternity's VMAX with Fion, but I could have pushed up Eternity's VMAX or maybe like Toxicroak, but also they don't have the switch yet, so there is like a chance they don't find that switch. They might have gladly gone into Eternity's VMAX there. So we'll at least make them find the switch. I think that seems better. Also, I can finish off this Slowbro with a potential Altaria at some point, which could be good. Obviously, if they whiff the switch, we're in a very commanding position. But I am a little bit nervous about the ADP going down and then us having nothing going on in this hand. My opponent whiffs. So now all I need is boss's orders for game. We have Marnie. That was a huge whiff. Keeping the slow bro and the active actually ended up being a perfect play for us. I think I'm going to go ahead and commit to the Altaria here. Um, I think that seems fine. As I'm just kind of playing some draw cards here. Alright, we do have boss and power plant. So we should be able to just win the game. Got the power plant. Tag call. Thin the deck. All we want are all we want are outs to boss's orders. That's it. And the greens is use it's basically a greens ADP deck that has like a thin Altaria line in it. It's it's a it's kind of really interesting deck list. You just use the greens while you're setting up. You know you disrupt with hammers. Use the greens set up get your board state, and then eventually you evolve into Altaria and you're done with the greens engine is the idea. So as you can see, we pretty much have got this game locked up. I mean, fortunately, we were able to slow my opponent down with the crushing hammer one turn. The crushing hammer made the difference. My opponent whiffed the switch the next turn. And now we just have game locked up on a bench crowbat unless i get reset stamped which obviously would be very bad for us but we are in a pretty pretty great spot right here unless i get marnie to reset stamped but the gears do help give you some extra dig i like that that is going to be ggs alteria here for moral support wasn't really going to be the card that we relied on in this particular game because of the you know the poison they just would have been chewing through our Altarius pretty quickly, but we get to do our all too familiar boss for a game with ADP. All right, three prizes on the Crobat. That is going to be GG's. All right, we are going first. We do have an energy drop, so this seems fine. It's a good looking hand. Playing against King Cooler. This hand is nice. Like opening greens, like opening an energy for our ADP turn one. It looks like we are playing against. Uh, we're playing against an ADP Zashian deck that plays a Duralgdon. A little bit tough, but I think we're fine. I'm not going to waste the tag call just yet. I'm just going to pass and get and see what my opponent does. Maybe the power plant just sticks, though. You never know. Sometimes they got Cherish Ball in the hand. Maybe they don't have a supporter. Maybe they just only have Day Day as their draw. They do have Energy Spinner. And the Duralodon is, of course, a huge threat to our Altaria strategy. So they're not really doing too much else. So we can go Energy Spinner, get ourselves the Water Energy. Nice. And then we've got Tag Call. We can dig a little bit more into the deck if we have to. Just see about getting some other dudes into play. I think these guys are nice. Something I do really like about this deck is that we don't have any bench liabilities. And I think that's something that cannot be understated, right? Not having any other sort of liabilities is really strong. So I think we want to go greens for like Energy Spinner and a boss, honestly. Just to get those cards into my hand. Because we're going to go Ultra Creation... And I want to go knock out the Duralodon, and then I want to get an Altaria into play, potentially. So we're going to go greens. And we're going to get 
energy spinner for my one more energy, and we're going to get boss, right? So that way, I have all the cards that I need for boss's orders, ultimate ray next turn. I can go quick ball. Honestly, it could go quick ball away the ADP or the Marnie. We could quick ball away the Marnie, get ourselves the Swablu. I like that. That's fine. Get ourselves a Swablu. And then this is like a perfect, a perfect state for us. This is a perfect board state, right? So the Duraludon's already been revealed, so I know that they have that as an out to my Altaria. My opponent didn't play any cards from their hand last turn. They just kind of like attached an energy and, and were chilling. So they might not have a very explosive turn this turn, but they might have switch in their hand and just switch. They do have research, and they're going get, to get a couple of metal energies into the discard pile. They've got Zashian ready to go. So we're going to bring up the Duraludon and Ultimate Ray. Hopefully my opponent doesn't play Hammers. <clears throat> But by loading up Altaria and knocking out Duraludon, it's basically checkmate. Should be checkmate. Unless my opponent has got a way to recover that thing, which I do not think that they do. So we're going to go Energy Spinner, get ourselves Water Energy. It's fine. That onto the active, boss up the Duraludon, go into Altaria, and I can even just bench one more. Ah, no, we do not want to bench anything else. We just Ultimate Ray this. And we put two energy onto the Altaria. And then the Altaria should just finish the rest of the game for us. Unless my opponent... Oh, Mawile could be big, yes. So I have to get rid of this ADP. Actually, this could be tough. Because if I get Mawile this turn, then obviously they just bring ADP and Swablu down. And then we're in like a much grindier position. So that would be very bad. Now, granted, I didn't exactly have a good way to get, you know, those guys out of my hand last turn. I could have quick balled the ADP. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I was thinking about, like, thinking potentially that the ADP could be good to have if the Altaria strategy doesn't work out. But... I think we're going to be unpunished for that, it seems. Looks like my opponent might have prized Ma Wow, or else I assume they would have played it already. So they're just going to ultimate ray into the ADP, and I think we're fine. We've got two gears and a hammer, and we're just going to lean on this Alteria to hopefully carry us through the rest of the match. We've got Switch as well, which is great. A couple of gears. Find Cynthia and Caitlyn... Like Cynthia and Caitlyn. Cynthia and Caitlyn can get me back a Marnie. That's like two turns of draw guaranteed, so I like that. I'm going to gear again. We can grab boss. I could boss something up. I don't really think that there's, it's necessary. But this seems good. Okay. So we're going to get rid of the big parasol. Go get ourselves... Marnie. Actually, getting having like all the boss in the hand just seems perfect, actually. This is exactly what we want. Then again, like drawing cards is also bad because then I, you know, open myself up to a potentially compromising situation with the Swablu getting Marnied. So we could ultimate ray for 180. 180 plus 90 is 270. So that's not going to take a meaningful knockout. So I think I just go in with Altaria and we just start using Speed Dive. So we can Crushing Hammer, see if I get the water energy. We don't. And I think I just start using Speed Dive and just go from there. I can Cynthia and Caitlin away the Swablu next turn. We don't actually play a lot of... <clears throat> we don't actually play a lot of... Uh... Pokemon in the deck. So we should probably be able to just Cynthia Caitlin away the Swablu and then not see another basic for a while. Because there is almost no, there's only five, six basics in the entire deck. And one of them I can put back into the deck. We got packages, Natalie? I can saw here. Oh, sick. 
Let's go. That rocks. Nice. Thank you, guys. All right, Altaria coming up. And we're hoping that my opponent does not have any way to mess with my Altaria. So we can Cynthia and Caitlyn. And we're going to get the Swablu out of here, obviously. Go get Marnie into our hands. Uh, we assume that if they play Mawile, they probably found it. This is actually a perfect hand to have now because... And I can even put the big charm on this net. Yeah, that's cool. Perfect hand to have because I got a quick ball in it. So we really don't want to reset this hand at all because I like having the quick ball. If I do happen to get a basic into my hand, I can just quick ball it away. And we've got bosses and they scoop. So GG's. Altaria. Yeah, that was that was good. I think that we got a little bit lucky that my opponent opened their Duraludon. Had my opponent not opened Duraludon, we would have not known that they played it. And then we could have gotten burned by that because they could have just dropped it. Saucer, saucer, energy switch. But yes, from all the information that I have heard and seen, Vivid Voltage is short printed. Um, distributors have, or just, there's not a lot of it. Distributors are asking, are getting shorted on their allocations. It's either one of two things. Either it was printed, it was, either there was not a lot printed, or that demand is so high. There's, it's one of those two things. So I can't, I can't actually say I don't work at Pokemon. I don't get to see those numbers. All I know is that, uh, is that shops were not able to get the amount that they asked for from distributors. From what I've seen. All right. We do not get the turn one energy drop, unfortunately, here, but do got some other things going on. I can quick ball away this evolution instance, and we can just go get ourselves an ADP, which seems fine. And I will bench it, and we're going to pass. We'll see what my opponent ends up doing. I do have a couple of Poke Gears, so I could find myself potential energy off of a greens, if I'm able to find a greens exploration, something like that. This is Inteleon again. Dude, we cannot beat this deck. Just cannot. What's up? No. We can't beat it. Don't make me beat it, dude. We can't beat this deck. All right. I think maybe the correct route is to go... Maybe the correct route here is to go and just try and go Altaria. Just attach energies and attack with Altaria. Just leave the ADP there and just 60. I think that's just our plan. We're actually just like, yeah, so let's gear. We'll grab the greens. And we're going to greens for... Let's see, Quick Ball Energy Spinner. Right, I can evolve the Altaria. Quick Ball Energy Spinner. Seems fine. And we're gonna go Energy Spinner, get ourselves at least an energy. I can start attaching to the ADP and just see if that works. I mean, because I know that my opponent can just start removing energy, so that's fine. We could go Altaria and the active, and then to like protect it. And then we can quick ball one more time. And I think we just get rid of this, go get Swablu, and we just pass, and then kind of see what happens. I think this seems fine. Parasol would be good. Yes, okay, so we'll use Parasol in this game. We've already got the ADP down, so it's going to be there. I didn't know what I was playing against turn one, so benching the ADP seemed fine in case I got Marnied, right? Because my opponent opened to Denny, so I didn't know. But yes, Parasol will be key. So maybe we can get Parasol out and prevent the damage done to my Altarius. At the end of the day, if they knock out the ADP, that is only, you know, three prizes. I can force them to knock out three more Altaria, which should be pretty tough for this deck, I imagine. It's not... You know, what are you going to come at me with the Frost Moths? That's usually not what you want to do against Altarius. So, even though the energy situation is going to be tough, keeping our energy in play, um, as we can see here, rip. All right. They only got four Crushing Hammers. 
So we can training court, bring that baby back. Just put it down on the ADP again. And then, yes, Caldeo could be bad. If my opponent's playing Caldeo, which they probably should be playing, because Caldeo is just a very good card. But they do not appear to be juicing up a Caldeo. So my opponent might snipe shot this turn. Looks like that's what they got. Probably onto Swablu, if I had to guess. Now, it feels really bad to Cynthia and Caitlyn this turn, though, if I do... Okay, actually, I love that they didn't damage my Swablu. That's great. Um, it feels really bad to Marnie this turn. So I think I want to Cynthia and Caitlyn away a Marnie. And we're just going to see three more cards. And I'm going to discard the Marnie, because then I can Cynthia and Caitlyn again. The following turn, we do find a Metal Energy and another Swablu. So that's cool. And we can actually just go... Training Corp, bring this back. And I obviously can't use greens because I got the Altaria in the active position now. But I think benching the other Swablu seems fine. I do kind of want to wait. We could just put the energy onto the ADP. I mean, if I can get the Alter Creation to stick, it's going to be big for us. I think a Water Energy onto the ADP is fine, especially with the Training Court out. That seems fine. I think I am just going to pass here because I don't want to just like give up free prizes either. Because if my opponent, um, you know, gets the V Max, then they could just start sniping the Swablus really easily. So we have to, uh, we do have to, you know, kind of uh, be a little conservative. Now it does look like we are getting Marnied, so that's fine. We did have a handful of supporters, so here's to hoping that I do find. Another supporter off of these next four cards. We don't, but I do find Switch and Spinner, so I can Altered Creation, potentially. However, we know that it's pretty much a fruitless endeavor because... Wow, another Snipe Shop. Still no VMAX from my opponent. We do find another Altaria. That's nice. Very good. I think that I almost might just wait here not alter creation i could just wait here and not alter creation and then just see if i can switch ultimate ray next turn but i think like it's probably just worth it it's probably just worth it we're just gonna do it all right we're gonna do it while we have it we're just gonna we're gonna alter creation that's just it okay we're gonna go for it seems like seems like fine and I've got an energy in my hand. If my opponent discards an energy from my active, I get to training court it back, and we could just start attaching to the Altarius. Right? After the Alter creation, now I, I can deal 90 damage to Frostmoth, which is very good. And with the Altered, we do two Hikeo the Caldeo, the theoretical Caldeo. We haven't even seen it yet, but there's a theoretical Caldeo in my opponent's deck that we want to two Hikeo, so that seems pretty good. And... We're getting our Al Altaria bossed, and they're just going to snipe shot. That's totally fine with me. Um, still, wow, we got the tag call off the top. Very good. We're going to go grab these guys. And we can Cynthia and Caitlyn. And see about getting a supporter back. Marnie, good, from the discard pile. Love to see it. And we've got a water energy. That's fine. I think we just go and probably retreat into the ADP. If they do 160, they knock out the ADP. I feel like I just attach to the bench is fine. And then what? I could Marnie next turn and see about finding switch energy. Um, if I attached to the active, I think attached to the active is actually good. So we're just going to go there. We're going to see what happens. Because if we attach to the active, then I can retreat training court ultimate ray, which could be good. So attaching to the active seems better than the bench. We want to go, yeah, retreat, training court, ultimate ray, accelerate more energies onto our Altarias, and then chill. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, as, as rough as this matchup is with the energy situation, I have to say, you know, my opponent not having any real attackers to... There he is! Okay. Talking about real attackers. And sure enough, Caldea, Caldea decided to show up. So... That is the card that we are very afraid of, right? It's got the Sonic Edge attack, not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Very tough. 
So now they can start powering that thing up. They're going to retreat into the Frost Moths just so they can ice dance over there to the Caldeo. And it looks like they've got more than one energy in hand. You can tell from the animation. Oh, they, they might just have all three. Oh, they might just have the Switch too. And then we might just lose the game. Just might just be what happens. Please don't have the Switch too. You did retreat into the Frost Moth, making me think that you did have the Switch. Oh, Lord. Jeez. Not good, chat. Not good. It's the kind of situation that loses you a game of Pokemon cards right there. <laughs> That's what that does. Uh, yeah. That's checkmate. I think the Caldeo is just... We can't do it. Right? I can accelerate to an Altaria, but we can't knock it out. Ultimate Ray doesn't do anything with the Caldeo. I don't have boss's orders in my hand. They can just knock out my ADP this next turn and get an energy back. Big Charm could be good. So if I'm able to... Let's Cynthia and Caitlyn. Just draw three more cards. I don't want a Marnie yet. I do find Boss. But I don't find... Yeah. So we have to get two energies... Onto our guy. I could have found Fion, right? We could have pitched up someone else, but we didn't find Fion. So we've got the Altaria here. And then... Yeah. That's just GG's. I guess, unless they don't have a single VMAX in the deck, right? I could theoretically go boss-boss game. No, I can't. Because I can't knock out Inteleons. I guess I just accelerate onto another ADP, right? Yeah. We could go there. I can greens. And... Let's go greens. Big charm and... Oh, power plant. And we, power plant. Oh, thanks, chat. Yeah, 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 we get the power plant. We're chilling, we're chilling. And then we win. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Easy. I was hovering right over it the whole time. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. I was like most of the way there, chat. And then we ultimate ran. <laughs> and then we've got the big charm on the active so that the ADP cannot get KO'd either, right? And then, yeah, because the big charm, the big charm was good, because I forgot the power plant just turns that card off. Yeah, broken. And then we go gust on the Dedenne, and it's game over. So maybe we win. Yeah, maybe we win. You might not believe this, chat, but I actually figured out the power plant play on my own, and then I looked over at you guys, and then you were all yelling at me to play the power plant, which was like kind of awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So we had figured, I had actually figured it out. <laughs> Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Yeah, the, the cogs, they were, they were getting, they were getting jammed though. The cogs, they were getting jammed. I was trying to, <laughs> was trying to fight my way out of this incredibly horrific situation we're in. All right, and that's going to be well played to my opponent's. And our last game of the stream, ADP Altaria. Yeah, ADP is a really good card. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.